girls! Okay, so today I have a super exciting extensions review for you guys. You probably had heard me talk about this quite a bit. But um, I actually got some extensions set to me, sent to me in the mail for review. Um, these are super, super amazing quality. They are real human hair. So before I get into anything else, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the company itself and the extensions. So um, the company is, I have my phone pulled up right here with the little email that they sent me. And it is Hair Extension Sale. Um, I will post the link to their website, and I will also post the link to the direct or the direct link to the um, set that they actually supplied me with, so you can get the exact same hair extensions if you want. Also, I have two promo codes that I will also list in the description box. One is for 10% off any purchase, and one is for 15% off any purchase of over a hundred dollars or more. Also, they have a YouTube channel, or I believe so. Yes, they do. So I will include that in the description box as well. But anyway, so the actual brand is King Hair. And it came in this awesome little bag like this. And these are the... Actually, I think it's on the other paper. These are the Remy Clip-In Hair uh, 24 inches in the shade number 2 or in the color number 2. Again, I'll just link it below so you can go find the exact ones. Um, and it's 100% human hair, as you can see right there. And on this little card, it says, King Hair Premium Hair Extensions is the highest grade of living, real, natural hair where the cuticles are kept intact. King hair is handmade, set after set in the factory, therefore more hair is added to each set to make it more tightened together and looks much thicker. Besides, we adopt newly creative design, making each set cam cambered, or cambered uh, to fit your head even more, looking as natural as uh, and real. Uh, King hair is the living virgin hair that has not been chemically treated. No bleaching, coloring, perm, or any other processing has taken place. Um, it, uh, as it is made of 100% human hair, it can be cut, colored, straightened, or curled. Everything that you can do with your own hair can be done with King hair. So, just like it said, you can do everything. You can curl it, you can straighten it, you can curve it, you can do whatever you want. So, um, first I'm going to talk a little bit about the wefts itself. Uh, the full set that I actually was sent comes with one weft of four clips. So there is four clips on the first weft. Then it comes with two of the three weft weft. Two Two, blah, 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 I can't talk today, you guys. I can't talk. Two of the three clipped wefts. I'm trying to dig it out here. So it, there are two of those. And then there are two of the double clipped wefts. Just like that. So there's two of the doubles. And then last but not least, there are two singles. And as you can see, I have one straight and one curly. Um, I curled one to show you guys how easy it is to straighten or curl. I literally, all I did was set my curling iron up and I just used a basic Conair uh, curling iron and I just did this nice loose curl and I actually have my Conair Infinity Pro straightener right here and I'm just going to show you how simple and easy this hair is to straighten and manipulate. So I'm just going to start at the top and I am just going to do one nice fluid motion downward and you can see BAM! It is pretty much almost straight. There are a couple things or a couple waves still in it but you can just touch those up super easily so you can see how easy that was to achieve. Like how crazy is that? That is so awesome. And the scent, the smell of these hair extensions because it is real hair you would think that it would have like a very like natural like weird smell to it but um, it actually just kind of smells like plastic that's kind of what it smells like is just the packaging that it was in um, there's no gross smell to it or anything like that so um, as you can probably tell this is a lot darker than my natural hair right here as you can see because I intentionally got the darker ones because I plan on dyeing my hair again this color. So um, I wanted to get the ones that were darker so it would match later on when I decided to color my hair. So with that being said, for the tutorial portion of this, I actually have a special guest with me. 
Okay, so as you can see, I have Missy here, and we already pre-straightened her hair. Um, we actually took a before picture of what her hair looked like before that because we attempted filming this before, but long story short, we lost the footage. So we're refilming it. Um, but anyway, so we have her straightened hair. Um, I will post the picture of the before and after the extensions at the very end of this video, and also it will probably be the thumbnail. I'm not sure yet. I um, haven't quite decided. But as you can see, this shade matches her hair a lot better. So again, these are my extensions. They will be mine. I'm just using her as my test dummy today so I can show you guys how to clip them in because I figured it'd be a lot easier for me to show you on someone else rather than trying to maneuver it and show you how I apply them to my own head. Um, this is how I would apply them to my own head if I were putting them on myself. So, ready to get into this? Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so the very first thing that you are going to do is you're going to take a rat tail comb, if you have one. If you don't, that's fine. You could just use your fingers. That's what I like to do sometimes. That's what I'm going to do right now, just to show you that you can do either. So, I'm just taking all of the hair, and I'm making a section kind of towards the nape of the neck, um, leaving about an inch of hair there, if that makes any sense. So, up about an inch. And then I'm going to take all the rest of the hair and I'm going to twist it at the top of the head and I'm going to take this giant clip that I have and I'm just going to clip up all that hair so it and your part does not have to be perfectly straight mine is not perfectly straight right now but that is perfectly okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to take the first weft that has three clips and we're just going to set this down here and kind of judge about where it is going to be and according to where each of the clips go you simply just want to take your comb and you just want to back comb where the clips will go so I'm just doing that right now just back combing that and then you can add a little bit of hairspray to hold it in, I am just using Classic Aquanet, and I get this at my local Walmart for around $2, so it's super cheap for Aquanet, and then just tease that a little bit more. I am taking the three clipped wet, and I'm going to start with the middle clip, and I'm just going to set that right on top of where I put the or where I did the back comb and I'm just going to press in until you hear it clip just like that and then one more time on the other side and then just push in and there you go you have your very first weft in your hair so now I just took down all of the hair and I'm brushing through it and then we are going to make another part about a half an inch or so up from where we did the last one so if I pull this up you can see where the last one was so we're just gonna go up a little bit higher than that not too much you don't want them close together but you don't want them too far apart so the last one I did was about right here so I'm just going up about right here now and again the part does not have to be exactly perfect but the straighter you get it the I feel that the longer the extensions will stay in and they just will be a little bit more reinforced. So we're just going to clip this back up. And now we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the first three clip weft. Except this time we are going to use the four clipped wefts. So we just hold it, see where they're going to go. And then we are just going to start back combing where the clips are going to go in place. Okay, so we're just going to start in the center. And I'm going to put the first two down first, just like so. Clip one, clip two, nice and snug. And we're going to work on the outer ones. I'm just going to do clip. And then we're going to go on this side. We're just going to clip. So it's nice and snug. You can give it a little tug to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Because we do not want extensions falling out. That would be horrible. So now we're just going to take down all the rest of the hair again. Go ahead and give it a gentle brush through, and we are going to part one last time, exact same process that we did before. I'm just going in with the other three clip weft, and it's going to be the last one that we do in the back. So I'm just going to start in the middle, just like we did the first time, and 
clip all that down and you just want to give it a little tug. If it's not tight enough, go ahead and just redo the clip. That's perfectly fine. So give it a little tug. Make sure it's nice and snug. <laughs> and then we're just going to let the rest of the hair down and give it another nice gentle brush through. And now we're going to start working on the sides. Okay, so now we are working on the side. You can see the profile of her face right here. Go ahead and smile. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start kind of right here. It's not necessarily at the very front of the hair. It's kind of back here a little bit. And we are just going to, I'm just going in with my fingers right now, as you can see. And I am just going to make a part like this. And this is where one of the two clipped wefts is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all this up right here. And I'm just going to twist it and clip it upward, just like before. And then we're just going to take the first two clip weft, just like this, and we are going to judge where it's going to need a little bit of teasing or backcombing. We're going to backcomb this up a little, just where those clips are going to go. You don't have to do a lot of backcombing. This is just, like I said, it just gives it a little bit of reinforcement for the clips to hold on to something so they don't just slip right off. And you're just going to pop these right in place. Oops, there we go, just like that. So I didn't do that one too close to the root. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. Just do it about right at the root if you can. Then you pull this down, make sure that the, um, go ahead and brush it, and make sure that the clips are completely and totally covered by your natural hair. So you, can, you can't even see where the clips were inserted. So now I'm going to go in with a single clip. These are perfect for if you're trying to fill in any areas on your head or if you want to just amp up a little bit of the volume on your head or just anywhere that may be lacking any hair. I'm making quite a few rhymes today. Um, <laughs> but you're just going <laughs> to take this and find a spot where you want it to be. And I'm going to do it about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and clip all this excess hair back, just like we did before. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn your head this way a little bit. And I'm just going to back comb this just a little and spray it. And then we are going to add this single clip right here, just like that. And let this down. Make sure it covers. And if it covers, you're good to go to move on to the other side. So now we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side. We're going to start kind of up here. You can see where the um, clip was from the last time that we did on the back. So I'm just going to kind of hide that a little bit. And then I am going to go in and I am going to do the two clipped weft right here, just like we did on the other side. So you can see I put the two clip on and now we are just going to finish this up with the single clip. Okay, and that is literally all there is to it. You can see her hair is long and luscious now. How do you feel with long hair? It's really heavy. It's heavy at first, but then again, it's like not. Oh, um, as for the grams, I will post that information in the description box because I, I, I think it's like 178 grams. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot, but... Um, you can check the description box for the information and everything like that. So, um, what do you feel? Do you feel like it feels like real hair? It, it looks feels like real hair. Yeah, it feels like real hair. And then, like, when you look in the mirror and it's just, like, it all works together. This is the first just, time she's had long hair in since she was, like, 14. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we actually did curl it the first time that I did it. And it was really gorgeous. She has some pictures on her Instagram that you can go see. That was insane. And it was really, really gorgeous. So she looks beautiful. Not that she didn't look beautiful before, but comment below if you like the long hair. And don't forget that you can use the discount codes. She can't stop touching it. She just loves it. And don't forget that you can use the keep on codes, the discount codes. They will be in the description box as well. So, um... Yeah, any last words that you want to say about it? It's really good quality. I'm going to buy me some of these. <laughs> I convinced her. Yeah. She's she's going to give in and get some probably. So anyway, with that being said, um, that is actually going to wrap up this video. So until next time, so, so long, long, stay strong, strong, stay true, and, and be you. you. Okay, bye! bye.